This is Coogan Cash's with the Bolton Arena here. Wow! Eddie Hearn and Asif Valley. What's happened to you, Asif? I've gone tall, haven't I? I'm Everyone I'm... always thinks he's short. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. Big man, mate, just like you. Definitely. Asif. Fat come. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Asif, did you want to come to the show? Were you invited to the show? You and Amir, what was your crack? I paid him. It's an appearance fee. Is it? He actually gave me 50 quid more than what he pays you. Really? Yeah. So you 550 got... quid. Yeah. Do you need a receipt? Yeah, please. Yeah. Does he give you a receipt? He never gives me a receipt. Why do you not? That's why he always denies it, because of, of tax issues. Right. There we go. Okay, so have you given them front row? They're, of course they're front row. Guests. Yeah. Guests. And Saj as well? You're fat, you're no, he's not here, but he was more than welcome. He would, he he's, on he's on his way. way. He's on his way. He's on his way. You're going to be all right with that? Of course. Okay, cool. Now, how can you two... Even though he asked me to die <laughs> on your interview. Yeah. That was his fault. That was my fault. That was his fault. <laughs> Listen, all these promoters now, grouping together, leaving poor fast car Eddie on the sidelines to run his course. What's, what's going on? Why is everyone ganging up against Eddie? That's it, in your opinion. Listen, it, it's healthy competition, I think. Uh, and I think what Eddie's doing, he's, a, he's doing a great job out there for the boxing fans and the people out there in boxing. Working with Sky, the, the only platform in the in the UK rolling out every week um, Box Nation Frank Warren are working with the other promoters you know I, I think it's healthy competition all around so from my point of view I'm sure Eddie thinks it's great for boxing fans um, and people that want to watch boxing fans don't understand why Khan versus Brook can't be made can you explain to me from your point of view why this fight makes sense or doesn't make sense right now well, it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, it's got to make sense for both people at the moment. Obviously, it makes sense for Kel Brook. He's in not. He's not in a good position. As good a position as Amir Khan. Amir Khan looks like he's got a shot against uh, Devin Alexander. Amir Khan wants to fight Floyd Mayweather, not Kel Brook. But Kel Brook versus Amir Khan is a huge fight in the UK. Um, I'm sure. I believe, and I think Asif believes. One day, if they both keep winning, it will happen. And you know, I think. I think, to be honest with you, everyone would like to make that fight. They believe they can win, we believe we can win. It's a huge fight, fills any stadium in the UK. Um, but everyone's got different priorities. For now, actually, our priority is to beat Carson Jones and then find a quality opponent for September the 21st. And his priority is to fight for the world title. So that fight definitely doesn't make sense to both parties at the moment, but we hope one day we can make a huge fight for, for Britain. So if it comes to a point where, like you said, Say Devin has got, um, uh, 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 he beats Devin Alexander for that world title. Kel Brook has put a, a string of, say, two or three wins together. You're telling me that you two can work together to make that fight happen, possibly, at some point? If the money makes sense, I mean, that's, that's the key, isn't it? I mean, you know, it, it, Kel's got his plans, we've got our plans, we've got to get, we want to get to Floyd Mayweather, everybody knows that. Once we get to Floyd Mayweather, you know, hopefully Amir wins, and if Amir wins, there's going to be defences there. And if the defences are Kel Brook being keep continued winning and he's there for the defence, that, that'll happen, I'm sure it will. Um, but th those are the plans that we have, and Kel's got to keep winning, Amir's got to keep winning, and that fight in, in the UK will fill an arena, outdoor arena, Bolt Wanderers, that's where we want it. I'm sure Eddie might want it. Uh, somewhere in Sheffield, but we'll be looking we'll to come to Bolt. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, listen, I if like it happens, yeah, of course it is. Uh, and if it happens, I'll it happens. At your house, though, is that all right? Hey, that's no problem, but I'm disappointed. He keeps taking my discounts. Uh, what are the hotels? Everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about it. So you two genuinely don't hate each other, do you? Oh, no, listen. I we, told we, you this. Even, actually, even when we were walking, working on a McCloskey fight, we had a bit of a tiff, but we've always got on. It's only you know. Uh, you must be one of the only promoters in the country that actually likes this man here. That's a, that's a fact. Listen, you cannot disli <laughs> dislike people just because you're in business. And you know what? You never burn your bri bridges, anybody's bridges in business. That's true, true that's statement. That's advice for people out there. True, true Boxers, statement. fighters, promoters, anybody out there. Never burn it. Okay. You never know when you got to walk it. We're walking the same bridge. Look, pan it, pan it across. This is a bridge we're walking. Oh, sorry, I lied. Dave Caldwell likes you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Caldwell yeah, likes you. So, yeah. I'm not in it to make friends, mate. I know, I know, listen, I know. Boxing's a business. Yeah. Of course. People like you keep taking money off us. Oh, I'm, I'm taking going money off you, you now. If we're talking about industry friends, I've got to say, you are bitterly disliked by the media community right now. <laughs> you go down there, they're all talking about you, all slagging you off, that whole media row. What can I do about it? You swan around. What about when I was in a meeting earlier? Yeah. You just swanned in. 
Alright, how am I getting home tomorrow? Did I say that to you? Yeah, you've been did, calling really? me all day asking me how I'm getting home. Did I say that to you in front of the people from you there? You said, what time are you driving me home tomorrow? Did I say that to you? Lovely, He's asked me as well. Uh -huh. He asked me as well, am I going to London tomorrow? Uh -huh. Yeah, ba bang it out here for a lift you are. I know. Little hobo. I know. <laughs> Isn't he? I know. Where's, Listen. Where's the sidekick? Who's that? Your mate. Who's my mate? Your mate. Helder. James Helder? Yeah. I thought you met Michelle Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, listen, Is thank you. Have you seen the Michelle Fox know, thing yeah, that's yeah, going yeah. on, eh? You even asked me for so, joining him in it. So, so it's a beautiful it? partnership. I think it's, it's nice. It's a partnership in inter internet reporting heaven. <laughs> Alright, listen, this is Coogan Cassius with Acid Valley and Eddie Hearn. It's great to see promoters working together. <laughs> wow!